uh, each light also has the capability of producing shadows uh, but to, I don't think if and it has an area called shadow so if I select this and turn on the shadow here uh, there's one called depth map shadows and we'll have to render here now notice nothing's happening I think that may be because of the fall off um, let's try one of these alright we st and we did not turn shadows on so let's turn shadows on our main key light here and you notice you start being to get shadows and those will vary depending on the direction um, there's shadow color uh, if the shadows are too dark or if I wanted to make them a, a, a dark shade of blue I could do that and uh, I don't know if you noticed uh, the shadows changed a little bit. For our exercise, though, uh, depth map shadows can come with issues if the resolution is not high enough. I want to go ahead and use, if you scroll down, now I have a light selected. So in the lights attributes, we scroll down to ray trace shadows. Ray tracing uh, gives you a lot more options. Uh, ray tracing allows reflections uh, and a lot, a lot of other things, soft shadowing effects. But if we render, notice there's no shadows. So if you use ray trace shadows, you have to go into the render settings, which is this button here, of the Maya software. You have to actually turn on ray tracing. There's a something down here so I went to the Maya software tab uh, I can adjust the quality as well I could uh, do a high quality render and something neat in the render view I can save this shot by clicking here and then I can render it again And notice now we have reflections. So my trees. All right. So th and then that's the one I just saved, and this is the one we just rendered. So uh, now my trees are reflecting this purple color in the other environment, which I don't like. Uh, so I'll probably go back to that green texture, take the reflectivity off. Uh, And my shadows, it's like I have too many shadows going on here. So I might turn shadows off of my point light. And I'm not going to put shadows on my fill light here. Um, so that's a little better. Now we only have shadows in one direction. It looks like I have something in the foreground casting a shadow. Uh, you can also make these shadows soft. Uh, I'm going to go back and take this shadow to, down to black. Um, now, since we're using ray tracing, we can change this light angle to something like 5. And as we begin to do that, these shadows, the edges, won't be so hard. They'll start to soften up. But uh, when it does it, it also makes it really grainy. I wish I had kept one before. So notice we soften them, but they get this this graininess to them. So I'm going to save this one and do one without any kind of light angle. And you'll see the difference. And so I'm clicking the button, and it takes a, a while for Maya to calculate all these shadows and lights. And that's the idea of rendering. We were doing screenshots before. So this is uh, no soft shadows. That's with soft shadows. You see what's happening here. Uh, so just know whenever you start uh, doing things like soft shadows or reflections that the render time will go up. And that's 
a big part of 3D animation and modeling is how do you keep your render times down? You want the best possible look with the lowest possible render time. And it takes a while, a lot of tweaking to get that to work right. But uh, So the way you would uh, fix that graininess is start taking your shadow rays up and your ray depth limit up. And as you take, begin to take these numbers up, uh, you're going to start seeing this become softer. And right now I'm rendering the entire scene every time, which may take a while. Uh, you notice that you, you lost a lot of your graininess. Uh, so for me, to make this scene more pleasant, I might put an image in the background, probably take off the reflection of the trees, maybe change... Uh, something's going on with the shadows here. I may have one more light somewhere that's casting a shadow. I'm not sure what that this edge is about. I could kind of step back. Oh, it's probably this mountain casting a, a shadow maybe. Um, I really don't know. Let's, uh, oh, it looks like my, uh, Feel light has shadows on as well, so I'm going to take the shadows off of that. That was casting shadows over this mountain. Uh, I'm going to take this the uh, the material on this tree. I'm going to take the reflectivity off, and so these are a couple of things to keep in mind. I'm going to turn back on my ray tracing and then I'm going to render three views uh, so I, when creating a view if you go to your camera or uh, camera settings film gate that's going to give you roughly what's going to be rendered so I can frame my shot in here Looking for any last tweaks or edits you wanna wanna do. I don't like how uh, that little snowman's getting lost in some of these trees, so I might move one of the trees over so it's not as distracting. And. Uh, Alright, so that might be my render one. And I wait for it. I've got some soft shadows. I've got materials. I've got snow texture. I've posed my uh, snowman. I've got a few props. And I can go into File, Save Image. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And this will be Snowman 1. Uh, JPEG, Save. Alright, so you're just going to need three shots and uh, submit those to your post this week and I hope this project has been fun this week. Next week we're going to take this uh, this snowman and begin to animate uh, and do some keyframe animations. So I uh, look forward to next week. See you then.